want to talk to you about uh, how to remove, you know, if you want to remove uh, additional apps. Uh, I suggest uh, you get, you go to the Play Store, and you write Titanium. So you automatically get it. Titanium Backup Root. There's two versions. There's a, a free version and a, a pro version. I suggest you, you know, you get both. Because, you know, the, the pro version is just, you know, an addition to this. And you're going to get a lot of extra features. And if you like to, uh, to flash, you know, a, a few ROMs, you definitely gonna enjoy this uh this app and what this uh basically do is you know you create a backup of all your apps and you know once you flash the ROM all you gotta do is you know look for the folder where you know you place all the, the saved apps and it'll restore all your all your uh apps uh, as you can see I already pay for this so I don't have to pay again so I'm gonna download this the pro key and once it, it's done you see you get the icon here it's ask, uh, asking for uh, root rights it's a grant and you're gonna get you know the first time you boot into it you get all these screens you select OK and get out of there. Uh, the first thing I do is uh, you click on menu, I click uh, preferences, and I look for a backup folder location. I have a 32 gig exterior SD card. That's where I place, you know, everything. I feel a lot, you know, to me it feels a lot safer to have it over there. So. Uh, what I do is I click on detect, call device. It's gonna look, you know, and it just found it on my exterior card. And now, uh, once you see all this list, that's all the applications that I have saved. I select use the current folder, and uh, for that to come active, you have to hit the back the back key. And see it, it kind of reboots uh, the application, restarts the application. Now this is where the the pro key comes in handy. If you come here where it says uh, back up and uh, you know, click dismiss of that one, back up and restore, you're gonna get a list of all the apps that are installed on your phone right now. All of this. Once you start scrolling all the way to the bottom you're gonna see that you're gonna get you know once with the the line cross those are the ones that I have saved and they're showing up because I already restored the, you know the backup folder if you get the free edition and you wanna remove apps you have to do them one by one but if you get the pro edition what you do is you hit the menu key and you click here and it says a batch actions and right now I'm gonna I'm gonna delete a few apps that I don't you know I don't really use and I wanna get better RAM uh usage out of out of this ROM, right? So uh what I need to look for is uh uninstall which says uninstall uninstall backed up user apps and I come here uninstall all the user apps so I click run and I get this list right so I'm gonna deselect all and select the ones that you know I want to remove like the action memo uh, the ad free because you know they're, they're really applications that I don't really use the ant let me see what else I usually remove around 39 applications Chinese class. I don't even know what that is, but you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna touch it for now. Let me see.
the dictionary service and yeah, I don't need that. Direct Connect Manager. Dual City Widget. I never use that. Dual Clock Digital. Easy Chart. Don't need that either. AJ 1.0 Email 4.2. The enterprise SIM pin service. Uh, let me see what else. What else? Oh, Greenify, you know. I really don't use that as a module, you know. Uh, a lot of people like them, you know. I, I, I don't. I remove it. Uh, group play, you know, never use that either. The idea sketch. Don't use that either. Said you know that there's a thing here that says iPhone. I don't know what that is. Uh, Jelly Bean airplane mode. Don't use that either. So I selected it. Let me see what else. Maps? No, not really. So, you know the only way you're gonna use maps is is uh, if you have an unlimited data plan, and I don't. So uh, why have it there? You know, using up RAM. Uh, the apps manager that's a module for your multi window I don't really use multi window that much so I don't why well, have that module there so I you know I remove it uh, let me see what else page buddy um, I don't like you know I could delete that let me see S Finder, don't use that either. S Note, you know, S Planner, and you know, Translator. S Voice is one of the biggest applications that, you know, they, they will hog you up the, the memory. So I, I always delete it, don't need it. Samsung Account, Samsung Apps, in app purchase, uh, the multiple widget uh, module, the Samsung Link. The push service. Let me see what else I could uh, remove here. Sketchbook, I, mean, I don't really use that either. Street View, again, you know, if you're going to use that, you need unlimited data. So, you know, I don't have an unlimited data plan, so I usually, you know, erase that. Uh, let me see what else. The travel, you know, don't use that either. TripAdvisor. Walkmate, no. And that should be it. So once you select all the ones you want to remove, you click on that little check mark on top. See, 39 apps. It's going to remove 39 apps. It's gonna take a while, but it's a lot faster than selecting one by one. Okay, so it's done, and uh, look at the difference. Now we are about using 609. And I could probably remove more, but you know, once you uh, if you come here, uh, long press home button and uh, select clear memory, it'll probably kill you know some of the apps that are still running, or you know, you we get a new toggle that does that. Kill me, I killed 21 apps right there, and uh, a lot of people don't like doing that, but. Once you do that and you know reboot your phone, you get you get a better reading on on the RAM. Next, you know, we go over there. And see, uh, application manager, swipe running, and I'm getting about uh, five fifty three, five you know, six six right now. And that should be it. Um, see, and now. Uh, I want to 
So now I want to install the, the apps that, you know, that I usually use. So I go back into Titanium. And uh, let's, you know, we hit the, the menu button. Uh, batch actions. And we want to restore. So uh, we click, uh, you should click restore missing apps with data. So uh, from this list, I'm going to uncheck the ones that I don't want to restore. here but you know I I usually don't use them all so uh, but it's good to have them here that way you don't have to download them again which if you notice is the only thing the only thing you're gonna need to download if you have this uh, app it's you know from the place where it's you know this app to you know to get your phone how it was Saved a few. Okay. See, the good thing about this is uh, if you want to change your mind, you have to do come here and select it and, and you know, you, you get it back in your phone. Let me check this list right quick. And, uh, yeah, that should be it. Uh, so once you're done selecting, click here. And I have about 51 apps. That I want to restore. So, uh, see, this is why it's important to uh, select uh, to be able to install unknown sources from security, just in case you have an app that you know you didn't download from the Play Store. So, you know, you click accept, and you're not gonna have any problem here. So, uh, I'll be back when this is done. Okay, so uh, it just got done. It takes a little bit longer to uh, restore than to delete app apps. You know, it's a it's also a good idea once you do this to uh, reboot your phone so everything settles down. So let's reboot. As you can see, we also get the shut uh, shutdown animation from the S5. And we also get the boot animation from the S5. The screen. There you go. Okay, so if you come into your app uh, app tray, so you're gonna see that you have all your apps that you chose. Now all you have to do is you know you drag them here to you know place them wherever you want, and uh, that should be it for for now. Uh, make sure to hit that that like button and share this video with your friends. And uh, if you have any questions, you know. Post them as a comment, and uh, right now, uh, 
in a few days I'll post uh, a picture of uh, how the battery life is doing since uh, to check the battery life on our new ROM you usually need to uh, wait around three days you know uh, fully charge the battery overnight I mean it's not like you know charge it and once you see it that it's a hundred percent unplug it no it's not the same thing you know you, you gotta let it, leave it overnight and uh, once it goes through like two or three cycles then you could you know you, you can actually see how good is the battery life on the run so uh, see you later peace